Do you believe that Iran is on the cusp of toppling the Islamic regime and taking back uh, and the people taking back their rights? Absolutely. The, the, the regime is weak at home. And the elimination of Ghassim Soleimani was, was a great catalyst for that because the regime has been instigating and behaving very badly. And unfortunately, you know, it took some time, but, you know, President Trump, like I said in my video, you know, it, it takes a lot of moral courage to, to, to make the decision that he did. And it was very, it was a great operation, actually, because there was no civilian casualties. And what it did is it, it empowered the Iranian people. And in fact, I, I don't know if you know, but President Trump tweeted out in Farsi, and his tweet in Farsi has, has become, you know, the uh, storm in Iran. It's, it's just, it's amazing, because now the regime knows that the, the eyes of the world are on them. And it has empowered the Iranian people. The Iranian people do not want the United States to topple the regime. They will do it themselves. We just need to stay the course. President Trump, I plead with you not to engage this regime. This is a regime that kills its own people. They will not negotiate with you in good faith. Right, and I think we saw that uh, under the Obama administration. Uh, you mentioned his tweet. I think it's interesting because it's the most liked Persian tweet uh, ever on Twitter. It's it's the most popular ever. tweet <laughs> ever. Yeah, which which says something about uh, which says something about the mindset of the Iranian people when it comes to what President Trump did, and that contradicts the narrative coming from the Democrats in our own country and from the mainstream media, who say uh, who are basically echoing the propaganda of the Iranian regime and saying that the people are mourning Qasem Soleimani when that does not seem to be the case.